Hello, my name is Kyle Pittman, and I would like to talk to you about the electromagnetic pulse, or the EMP. The EMP can be seen in many non-fictional movies. In Batman The Dark Knight Rises, Batman uses an EMP gun to disable a motorcycle. In the movie GoldenEye, James Bond tries to stop a M16 agent from using an EMP to rob a bank. The EMP can also be seen in video games such as Call of Duty, where players can use an EMP grenade to disable sonar equipment. An EMP bomb is also being tested in the U.S. military. The first recorded damage from an electromagnetic pulse came the sol solar storm of August 1859, or the Carrington event. It was the largest solar storm in recorded history. Some spots and flares could be seen on the sun, and it was followed by a huge geomagnetic storm. Telegraph systems in Europe and North America threw sparks, set light to paper, and gave their operators electric shocks. Its potential as a weapon was first realized by the U.S. military in the Starfish Prime Test in 1962. A one megaton warhead was detonated 250 miles into space. The pulse knocked out street lights and damaged telephones in Hawaii. In 2001, the United States took a commission to assess the threat from an EMP attack. It concluded that North Korea, Russia, China, India, Pakistan, Iran, and Cuba understood how such an attack could work. So how does an EMP work? First, you detonate a nuclear explosion above the Earth's surface. Electromagnetic radiation changes electric and magnetic fields. A nuclear electromagnetic pulse produces three waves of energy. The first is a very fast-moving, brief, intense electromagnetic field. It is created when gamma radiation from the nu nuclear explosion knocks electrons out of atoms in the Earth's upper atmosphere. These electrons start moving downward and interact with the Earth's magnetic field, creating a very large, brief pulse. The second wave is generated by scattered gamma rays. It's similar to the pulses caused by lightning strikes and as such tends to be less damaging to equipment. The third wave is a very slow pulse lasting tens to hundreds of seconds caused by the nuclear detonation, driving the Earth's, Earth's magnetic field out of the way. It can induce currents in long electrical conductors such as power lines and cause damage, damage to substations and transformers. The electromagnetic pulse can be associated to EC303 through Ampere's Law. Ampere's Law relates magnetic fields to electric currents that produces them. Ampere's Law determines the magnetic field associated with a given current or the current associated with a given magnetic field. So in conclusion, my name is Kyle Pittman and I just discussed with you the young history of the electromagnetic pulse, how the electromagnetic pulse changes the uh, magnetic field, and how it relates to three, EC303 through Ampere's Law. And here are my references. Thank you for your time.